The incredible true story of Steve Ross, the driving force behind the iconic New England Holocaust Memorial, is now being told in a documentary. And here now to tell us all about Etched in Glass, the legacy of Steve Ross, is the film's director, producer, and screenwriter. He's a triple threat, Roger <laughs> Lyons. Good morning, Roger. Thank you so much, Hatch. Thanks for inviting me. A great pleasure to have you here to talk about this film. I was watching the trailer uh, earlier this morning, uh, unrelentingly moving. Uh, I sat there transfixed at my screen watching it. For those unfamiliar with the story of this gentleman, tell us a little bit about what we need to know. Um, Steve is actually a Holocaust survivor, obviously, um, but he's a very, it's a very, the story of Steve is very uplifting. He's a very inspiring person, and so the story is basically about how an act of kindness at the end of the Holocaust, at the end of the, uh, the war, actually spurred resilience in Steve. And he went on to do great things. Yeah, he, he takes us through, through this amazing footage, some of which we're seeing now, through uh, his journey, how he, this act of kindness, which you alluded to, allowed him to have this amazingly fulfilling life and to touch the lives of so many. Why hadn't this story been told sooner? That's, I think that's, that's a really good question. question. Yeah. I have no idea. I, mean, I was lucky to be able to do it. I was actually assigned to do a one-minute piece unsung heroes and so forth right and I somebody told me Steve would be a great person to do a little profile of and of course after one phone call that was two hours long I realized there's a big deep long story about Steve that needs to be told right and talk about some of the challenges you faced you know putting this uh, film together I mean <laughs> making any movie certainly a daunting challenge a labor of love and at yeah. the end of the day it's all worth it but I'd imagine you faced some incredible obstacles but a lot of were a lot of them were fundraising related and health related and Steve wasn't the healthiest person in the world right. Right. surviving 10 concentration camps as a, t as a young teen. And so he had some health issues off and on. I had some fundraising issues off and on. Right. Um, but basically we just sort of sucked it up and, and just wanted to tell his story. What a great metaphor this man is for future generations about persevering. I mean, certainly we all go through our days. We're just trying to get through the day. But what this guy went through, you can watch this movie and maybe take something away from it. I mean, if you watch this, you probably realize there's, there's nothing I can't do. That's exactly the, the lessons he taught to kids. He would lecture at some inner city schools and tell his story. And the kids would just sit there going, wow, if I, if I can get through my issues, and this guy could get through this. I can get through anything. And let's talk, do. absolutely, let's talk about uh, connections to Rhode Island here. Yeah, actually, the inspiring part of the story, many of the inspiring parts, really, when he was liberated from Dachau, he ran into a soldier who gave him an American flag, a little tiny one, which he still keeps today. Right. And for 67 years, he searched for that American soldier all over the world, really. Yeah. And it kind of comes to a head, the turning point of the film, in Saunderstown, Rhode Island. Unbelievable. All roads lead back to Rhode not, Island. Not to seems. be too detailed about <laughs> it. You need to see the film. But uh, that's kind of where it went. Remarkable. Yeah. And where can we see it, of course? It's you can this see weekend. It at, it's the, at the Rhode Island International Film Festival. It's going to be Sunday afternoon at the Moses Brown School at around 2.20. And we'd love to have everybody come in. Please take a look. It's very uplifting. For a story about a Holocaust survivor, it's really uplifting and inspirational. It really is. As I said, I was sitting there watching the trailer. It makes you certainly want to experience the entire story and to really immerse yourself within it. This is true. Roger, a great pleasure to have you here. Thank uh, you. It's really, you are to be commended and lauded for putting this film together. We wish you great luck with it. Thank you. I really appreciate All it. All right. As Roger said, you guys can check out Etched in Glass this Sunday at Moses Brown's Woodman Performance Center. We will share a link to ticket information on our website, roadshow.com. Come